Hey there guys, I hope you're all okay. I am basically coming back out here because um, cards and further, you know, continuing developments and things. I'm feeling really good, I think, physically, certainly because also I have sewing projects um, waiting for me up there. I will get back to those as soon as I'm uh, done talking to you guys. But I really felt like I should um, come, you know, with at least a partial conclusion as to the whole Tektite uh, business. It's still, or it is again, um, on here, which is fine. I am so impressed, you guys, with how much this stone has actually done for me uh, during the course of this week with uh, help from my obsidians, both of them um, at the moment. There's just the Apache tier in here because, as it turns out, at the moment it's a bit on the lonely side. Of course, very natural, very human. <laughs> the kind of stuff just happens. And there's the inside world and there's the outside world. And what you're going to do? You have to, you know, make room for both, I think. So yesterday I went to my little volunteer job at the, I think that's actually called a folklore society. Except we don't do reenactments and things like that. It's just very dull library work at the moment yet for me. Um... Turns out also that this guy, who's kind of the supervisor over there, mainly because nobody else wants to be a supervisor, you know, that kind of thing, he's really friendly. And he was, there was, sometimes I really get frustrated and tired with having Venus in Cancer because there's always some type of a guy that's friendly, pays attention to me, and especially this time of the month, you know, there's estrogens and I just go bloom into their faces and whatever, you know. I don't need any more than what I'm getting, I think, or even if I do need more, then it's not going to happen, you know what I'm talking about. Friendship, however, I do need a lot more than I'm having. So, hence also the YouTube, because each and every one of you is very precious to me, as you know. So, this whole, you know, interacting with people thing is actually uh, taking shape. I'm actually becoming involved also personally. Uh, we had a conversation yesterday, this, uh, this guy and I, and we just, uh, yeah, we were... I suppose it's time for both of us to assess whether we can be mates, you know, something like that. And mates in the sense of friends and how do you, you know, you have to get to know each other and that's going really well and rather quickly also. So I'm used to the situation from back in the old days where I could, uh, you know, walk around people and be with people uh, for years on end and never really get to know anybody, whether male or female, whatever age they were, it was always really hard for me. So this is new and it's really cool and I pulled cards. So just this is basically what, what it is, you know, it's just me being at home, being feeling a bit lonely. Also, I want to get back to my sewing projects because I've got all sorts of cool stuff coming and I will show them to you also when I'm done. But first, my cards. I had, um, I don't really, at this kind of a juncture in time, I don't really pull cards in a particular spread. I don't even really do uh, like a past, present, future, which is always a possibility or which is always a way of looking at the actual cards that I'm getting. I just pulled the cards that felt good to me at that time. And because I was... Um, like doubly confused in a way slightly um because i'm sort of still halfway in the tektite process which is really a very big deal because um you know old fear it's like having all this barbed wire being pulled out of your system it's very intense 
and as it turns out you manage all that and you survive this is the tectite right here um it gets easier after a few days yes but this is how old this stuff was i had my uh female yes friend over for dinner last night and we uh, had a really great chat uh over dinner and afterwards um, she even shared in my, uh, you know, mushroom energy vials, the beeswax uh, vials that I made for the two kinds of amanitas. And she could really feel the difference between the two vials. So that was extremely cool. <laughs> I'm really grateful that she, you know, is willing to pick up on that kind of a thing because it's not really where she comes from. Although she is Norwegian and in her background, you know, there's a bit more of the heathen pagan Viking vibration than Certainly I was expecting, because the way she looks from the outside, she is a really um, prim, you know, neatly dressed moon in Virgo, very, you know, proper female who doesn't really want to stand out or draw attention to herself or any of it. So I'm segueing here into uh, my, my, you know, discussion with her. But she really appreciated the, uh, the effect that the mushrooms, the mushroom vials had for her and she could sense the difference and it was uh, I think it was fine with her but I also refer to the tectite and how uh, that had been working for me and I certainly wouldn't advise her to use any stones as uh, oh, I was going to say intrusive you know as this at this point because her life is as complicated enough as it is also she has you know had her own issues with anxieties and what have you burnout situations and things like that and she has really um you know come to terms to quite a large extent with uh, with those things so for herself so i don't think she really needs this for me it's different the good the cool thing is she's known me for 25 years and she knows who i am and where i come from and all that so if i talk to her about my mom she actually knew my mom back in the day so Sorry for the hammering, it's distracting to me as well. But uh, they're always up to something back here. Anyway, um, stunning effect uh, as to, I can still feel it now that I've put it back on, like since five minutes or so, how much is it? Seven and a half minutes. I just put it on before I came on. Uh, I can feel it in my head. Like there's still bits of barbed wire going squing like that in my, in here. So I'll be wearing this for, for a while, yeah. Um, she knows what I'm on about when I talk about my mum, what the crucially interesting, the only bit that I really need to remember as far as all this anxiety goes is that to me, apparently it's really important to be my own individual person, to be a sovereign individual and that, um, was near, more or less impossible with my mum being around. Hang on a second, because I just realized. Oh, silent mode. There you go. Sorry for the hands. <laughs> the hands are always there, right? Um, being a sovereign individual and then my mother seeing me as an extension of herself, which makes a lot of sense because a mother physically gives birth to you. She was my real mother. She wasn't a stepmother or a foster mother or any of it. She actually gave birth to me. And seeing as who she was and what she was like, that was also a big deal. She was a, re a really sensitive and I would nowadays say a hypersensitive person. You nowadays, we have, you know, terminology for that type of people. And she had a really hard time and she not only saw me as an extension of herself, that was one way that I actually reacted to her. What, from her viewpoint, she was just being really protective of me, always. So that was uh, stifling and hard, and sometimes it felt a lot like, especially when she was angry with me, it felt like, I'm going to have to show, shove, close the door here. Hang on, bear with just hoping that that will uh, prevent some of the noise from coming in. Um, 
it was like uh yeah when when she was you know upset with me it was like uh, she wouldn't accept me as i was really she couldn't live with me as a person so she could just sort of dial me out of her life and that made me utterly miserable because there was there was no one else in my life and i depended on her utterly and i had done so when i was a really small kid as well and she was really hard to depend on basically she had great qualities but all that you know all this whole picture i'm just trying to sketch this again in a few sentences here but the um the antagonism and the fear and the lack of mutual understanding and the lack of communication basically between the both of us uh that has been with us uh, for 28 years as long as i lived with her or had to live with her uh my cat's making a mess over there he, they're using the couch as a scratching pole, you know, so it's good it's a second-hand couch because we're not having expensive furniture and cats in the same room. That's not going to work. What do you want? Hey, he wants me to feed him, of course. So, the tactite, quite a confrontation, quite a, a challenge to work with, and most of it is... I'm getting used to. I'm getting. It's not like it's new information. None of it. It's just that I have to choose to deal, you know, with the lack of sovereignty. So how do you do that? Great question. I have no idea. Apparently, so according to my cards, this is how I deal with the sovereignty business. Mary L cards, two of cups, like so. High priestess, and ten of cups. So to me, this says that to in order to make the most of this emotional, um, of this conjunction, of this state of affairs, I just have to go walk the path all the way through. I have to go all the way through the emotion using whatever crystals I can, whatever feels good. You know, I will just, uh, you know, plow on ahead bravely, I think. And um, then after, you know, after a while, I will sort of be able to envision uh, 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 mostly um, you know, all the sides to the things. Because I, I understand my mother a lot better now also. That's also something that's come out of my all my, you know, attempts in, in this life is um, the more I understand myself the more room there is to understand other people as well. So that's pretty awesome. On the other side, I was looking at uh, my um, interaction basically also with other people in, um, in the cards. I was using the Halloween tarot for that because it's slightly less dramatic and over the top than the Marielle. And I got uh, these three cards in total for just like um, basically a general overview of my, what 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 I feel like at the moment. So in relation to this uh, historical society that I'm becoming part of. Also, I went uh, visited for a moment um, my pals at the um, social restaurant and actually met with the person that basically manifested for me the fact that I had to leave there and we we're fine so we just chatted for five minutes or so and she was working there and um, she was really she was pleased to see me so it was absolutely and totally fine which is like a oh, quite a relief because you never know with people you never know right so the full card an emperor card that I'm not completely sure what he's doing in there uh, maybe more control and a fool at the same time. Yes, I guess so. It feels, these two cards feel really good to me. They feel like this is absolutely what I am doing at the moment. So maybe I am getting more organized with people as well as trusting a lot more at the same time and just going, you know, just going for it anyway. So what I didn't really get was this card, the eight of ghosts, which is the Eight of Cups, basically. It's a very Rider weight presentation of the, uh, of the Eight of Cups. Um, I had a bit of a hard time because I couldn't really, it feels really good and I still don't, then I have to sort of reel in words or concepts to 
help me make sense of this because I'm not really saying goodbye to anything necessarily as far as I can tell I am welcoming all sorts of new things and new people into my life which is maybe kind of the same thing in a way so I have more cards which I pulled six more in the Halloween tarot that I pulled to sort of clarify this eight of ghosts position here the first I pulled two threes actually but I'm giving them to you as in three twos so what I got was a chariot and a star like so uh, at an, on one level and then a lover's card and a knight of cups these two are really cute together I think also they show me um, especially because of the knight of ghosts here I have a lot of dreaming inside of me, a lot of fantasy, a lot of imagination that wants out and uh, that's never been let out. So I don't want to get involved in ways with people that I am scared of the results and the consequences and the things, which is why the final two cards were the justice card and the six of pumpkins so I feel like the justice card can be interpreted in two ways actually uh, especially with respect to the historical society business um, this guy that I'm talking to and about at the moment he's lived here all his life he's he's interested in me because I'm really different from him so actually I'm kind of getting back to the two of cups at the very beginning but then in the justice card you can see like okay so I'm not getting involved with people in ways that I don't want to get involved with them because it's not an option but that's just a sur surface layer okay as far as I'm concerned it's just a surface layer to me it's more like this card represents him in a way where um for him, justice is something, it's like he, the card represents him and he's, um, because he's always lived here and he's interested in other people, he's not just interested in me, he's interested in everybody. And the more you bring, that's cool for him. So he's like, he's got a certain Aquarius type quality to him, as in everybody has something valuable to say and something interesting to add to the conversation even little old me so something like that something along those lines and because he's firmly rooted here uh, there's a lot of difference between this it's like we're mutually f l looking at each other like who are you why how do you do what you do basically because he was asking me questions about how I feel <laughs> which is like oh my goodness sheesh so the six of pumpkins at the end of the session here uh, is always you know a card that I like a lot six of discs perfectly fine uh, as far as I'm concerned yes you're in a you know a separate ish position but there's a lot of generosity being shared and you have to Kind of keep track of what you're sharing with whom maybe yes that's definitely a, a, a caveat for the six of pumpkins interesting card and i love that it just starts off from this eight of ghosts here the beginning the first card that i get is the chariot so let me pull it out again there's hills in the distance and there's i just love this deck look at that there's this fence over here, see? The fence with all the little pumpkin heads in there. I just love that stuff. So, um, it's up to me, I guess. And I feel, thanks to the Tektite, I feel, again, a lot freer than I used to. And that's bloody impressive and bloody amazing. And just generally, wow, you know, I... 
it is worth it. It hurts like hell and then afterwards it's worth it. Turns out that you can actually then you can actually transform all those areas inside you that yeah and also another thing and there's another bit of uh you know shakti intel in here because i always end up going back to that as well i have gone um i've used shakti as much as possible um whenever i could feel this what i keep calling barbed wire the sensation of fear and prickliness and and even though most of the sources of the fear are long gone some of the manifestations and the memories, I suppose, are still here in the actual carcass, right? That. And what I did was when the tectite was sort of scraping away at that or gnawing away at that, I then imported Shakti energy from my root chakra upwards to that area wherever I could feel that as much as possible. And lately, this morning in particular, in my heart area, I could again feel how the Shakti energy, you know, starting off right at the top of my diaphragm uh, and going up from there. This links up to the video that I did a couple of weeks ago about getting this soul fragment restored into my whole heart area. This has been amazing. It's been marvelous. And I can sort of feel much better i could also feel the tectite working in there where it's at first there isn't any there isn't that much life energy that you can use you you have to go through this you know those memories and those identifications and the pain and all the rest of it and then once that process is kind of done ish you can sort of tell okay now i've basically covered this layer of things then I turn back to the Shakti and I can see that the Shakti comes in and that takes me 24 hours also to have it really completely filling up that area again. So that takes a while. And of course, I'm not I'm working on that 24 hours at a, at a stretch. It's not continuous. It's just bits and bobs here and there. And then at some point... Um, Oof, it's all there again and I am actually yes available to myself hence the cards also I think I have a lot of full cards these days <laughs> very often it's a full card I think that's it what with the Shakti bit, that's what's important. I shouldn't, uh, you know, forget about the Shakti. Um, I have also one more point. I have, when I was wearing the uh, Tektite and Obsidian combination, I had also got my two little Amanita vials in my pocket. And I could really feel that the Amanitas were making the process easier. Which I think is rather awesome. It's actually, it actually works. Using mushrooms like this, um, I don't know why not, why nobody does this, because it's, it really makes a big difference. It's my path. So there you go. There is one other type of Amanita that grows in the uh, not really close neighborhood. I'd have to go on my bike and, uh, you know, be away from the house for a while to get me some of those. But the weather is just way too nice for me to light a fire in the fireplace at this minute. Maybe, although they said that later today there was going to be a more windy weather and um, so maybe, maybe I should, I don't know, maybe tomorrow is another possibility because there's a different type of Amanita that I haven't used yet that I don't know what they do really. And they're in the same kind of category as the uh, Muscaria and the Pantherina so far that I've used. Um, in the sense that it is not a mushroom that you want to eat necessarily unless you know exactly what you're doing and in order to go, you know, uh, have trippy experiences um, so it might be possible to um, to use that in a vial as well I'm not sure, it depends on, uh, on all sorts of things because the sewing is also important so I've got a couple of really 
cool projects coming and uh, you know some of that just also has to be done by these two hands so i've got to be here thank you so much for watching you guys see you soon and um i'll be back uh, next week i suppose okay ciao ciao